All right, I've got the same setup that I used for the other how-to, just VCO, VCF, VCA to the output. <clears throat> um, this one's about modulation. For instance, the most basic I think would be to modulate the amp. That's just turning up, turning down the volume. Now, if I wanted to, to automate that and, you know, do it back and forth or, you know, up and down or whatever, then I can use an LFO, which is an oscillator, plug it in. Now, this one's speed. Speed can vary how fast this LFO is set to. Which is really just the equivalent of me turning the knob up and down, up and down. Now if I just leave this up, I'm going to do the same thing to the filter. Like, basically it's like turning the knob back and forth and it's just now when you do it really fast it starts to take on its own tone and that's when the LFO goes up to the audio range This LFO has settings for medium, high, which is pretty much all in the audio range, and low, which goes down to almost 10, 10 minutes per cycle or something, something crazy. So there's a lot of things you can modulate, and I showed you the amp, which is volume modulation, and the filter, which is the cutoff frequency modulation. And you can do things like pitch modulation also. Which can also be controlled by the speed of the... Now different shapes of modulation can get different effects like ramp, sawtooth, sine wave, triangle. The triangle just goes up and down a lot like the sine wave. But it's not really a soft curve. The sawtooth's pretty cool. It sounds kind of like a bass drum. what it's doing when it's really slow and that's what it sounds like when it's fast so uh, you can run all those at once you can do them individually um, in any combination and it's pretty cool to have more than one thing being modulated at one time, you get some interesting stuff.